ENT Clinic of Iowa is proud to present to you Metro Woman. It's their way of showing their complete commitment to women across the state of Iowa. Please enjoy this episode of Metro Woman, presented to you by the entire staff of ENT Clinic of Iowa, located in West Des Moines, downtown Des Moines, and in Pella. Today on Metro Woman, have you ever taken a look at the deep, dark secrets of your closet and wonder how you can maximize space, have quick access to the clothes that you wear most, or you're like me, really don't even know where to begin? Today on the show, we're meeting with Maggie Wentz, a personal wardrobe consultant and closet guru. I can't believe they talked me into using my closet! I'm a little nervous, so if you want to learn wardrobe and closet 101, we're using my house and my closet. Ah! Metro Woman starts now! Taking one from Metro Woman. I gotta <laughs> tell you. Okay, Maggie. I'm nervous, but let's let's just do this. Ta da! All right. Or dun 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 dun. Okay. Now, what normally would you do first when somebody leads you to their closet and just bears it all and shows you what they've got? What do you, what's the first step? This is actually pretty common closet. Uh, a lot of people just get it put away. I know you've got a busy life, a lot of things going on. So once you do get your laundry done, it's just time to get it into the closet and get it. That is exactly what I do. I fold it over there and I shove it over here. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Am I supposed to be doing something else? <laughs> the problem comes when you want something out of that. That's oh, exactly okay. right. Oh, yeah. That is okay. exactly right. What we want to do is make your closet easy. When you open it in the morning, you know what's in there. You can see all the colors. You can see what you have for tops and bottoms. And they're separate and they're easy for you to find. Uh, the other thing is you want to make sure you're not duplicating too often. You know, you want to wear everything that you've got. And it, you have a lot of good stuff here. So it's just a matter of making it visible so that you can see what you have on a daily basis. Okay. So what would be the first step, I guess? The first step that might make it easier for us to get through the whole closet is to actually separate tops and bottoms. So we'll put bottoms on one side, tops on the other, and then with the tops and the bottoms, if you, depending on what you end up with, put them in color order. Um, just kind of take the rainbow and just go in order, and then we can kind of see, first of all, what colors you shop for the most. Okay. And then what we'll do, I actually have a color wheel here that we'll look at and see what you can mix and match and how the different colors look on your skin and maybe we'll see if you're missing anything. So, so we need to first take everything out? We don't have to take it out. <laughs> take <everything laughs> out. <laughs> what we'll might work, um, just because we have a limited amount of space here, which most women have a limited amount of closet space, uh, we could take your bottoms out and set those aside for now. Okay. Just because, again, most of those are going to be neutral colors. They're going to be your blacks sure. and browns and tans, and that's okay. Right. You don't so, have okay. purple pants. Right? <laughs> <laughs> I don't know. I don't think I do. Some capris are wonderful in colors, but um, as far as like your dress pants, we can just set those aside for now and focus on the tops. Okay. Okay? All right. Let's see here. Mm. I see some tags in here. Uh-oh. Is that bad? <laughs> Just that's, it shows me that you haven't that worn it yet. Item you have to buy <laughs> that's you right. And every woman has tags in their closet. Yeah. If something is an impulse decision, yeah. uh, and they'll never wear it. It really wasn't the one that you. <laughs> I got it to go on vacation, and then I didn't wear it on the vacation. And then I just didn't feel like wearing I mean, it at home either. Do we buy stuff for a, a trip or an event? Correct. We don't think is that going to be real usable after that. That's right. And we kind of fill space with one-time items. Mm -hmm. Don't you think that could be a weakness we all have? <laughs> it is. And when you're shopping, it just it really helps to think what else, what do I already own that I can wear this with. Yeah. So far, so good. Maggie is really helping me understand closet management. We've identified the problem, me, of course, and now well on our way to fixing my closet. Join us after the break as we go to the next step, which is arranging your closet by color. The finer points of fashion management right here on Metro Woman. All right, now what? All right, let's start with grouping colors. Okay. So we can just just start. So I see you've got a lot of navies, you've got a lot of pinks, so, and oh, then geez, also your greens. Oh, <laughs> 
so we can I just have to have some of that yeah, in there so that I, my husband doesn't divorce me. <laughs> okay. You and, well, you know, there's a certain occasions. It's not like I'm going to wear that to church or something, <laughs> unless I'm on the that's campus a, that's itself. A great party trip, yeah. Right, but um, okay. Now, where do you do you have like a go from this color to this color end of the? Well, it do. depends. I, I do. <laughs> It just depends on what ends up working for you, but just okay. the rainbow is the, a great way to start. So you start okay. with your pinks and reds and then work your way all the way back My to purple. My girls are going to think it's really pretty when they see <laughs> it, actually. And generally I'll put whites on, on you know, the left and blacks on the okay, right. Okay, so your dark's down there. Yep, dark's like down there. I should hand you some mm -hmm. stuff. Okay. All right. And again, you'll find what once you start doing your laundry and you start putting it back, you'll do what's natural for you. But this way, <laughs> mess it up again. <laughs> but you're you still. Know, that's where I'm going to ask a lot. I get mine organized, but it won't stay that way. And there's got to be a trick to that. Well, part of it's just discipline and the fact yeah. that, you know, you're going to put your clothes away anyway. Sure. You have to fold them, you have to hang them up, yeah. and you have to put them in the closet. Mm -hmm. So take that extra three seconds and just put it in the right spot. Sure. And it makes you happier in the morning because you actually know what you have. You can see it. Yeah and it's easier to mix and match your outfits. Yeah. And I definitely feel I get into like um, the mood to, for certain colors mm -hmm. and stuff. Oh, like I'll have three days in a row I wear the same color because I'm feeling kind of orange oh. or whatever. <laughs> I don't know. Okay, here's some quick tips we've learned so far. Tip one, even though you have a busy lifestyle, take a few minutes a day to keep your closet organized because in the long run, it will save you more time trying to find the perfect outfit. Tip two, separate your tops from your bottoms. It makes it much easier to coordinate your colors for the day. Tip three, coordinate your closet by colors. And with magic of television, poof, it's done. We have reorganized by colors. And I don't, now, now that we've done that, tell me what is correct or <laughs> not, or what I'm doing right, or whatever. What I like to see is that you have pretty much every color in here. We go definitely from the shades of red and pink into yellows, greens, and blues. And of course, you've got purple, which I hear is your favorite color, yes. so I can see why. <laughs> uh, and then we've got our browns and blacks at the end, and then the whites on the front end. Uh, the one thing I do notice, which uh, is very common, is there's very little orange, but that is a color that's very difficult to wear for most women. Mm -hmm. uh, and with colors that are difficult to wear, like yellows and oranges are, are in that group, What's fun about those is you can use those as your layering pieces. So you can still get all the colors in the rainbow, but you can put a color on top of it that is going to work better with your skin tone and your complexion, make you feel more comfortable wearing right. those colors. And one thing that actually helps, and I work with most of my clients with um, a color wheel. This is just a painter's wheel. But what it does is it shows you complementary colors. It shows you how you can mix and match the things that you have. So you know that you have yellow that you'd like to wear. So you just put it on your color wheel and then you know all the purples, um, the red violet over to the blue violet, they're going to look good together. So you're going to be able to wear, you know, maybe your yellow tank top or t-shirt with, you know, a purple cardigan or even a purple necklace. Because if you put that color next to your face that is uh, better for your skin tone and for your eye color, you're going to, that's what's going to pick up on your face, not the yellow or the orange, which can make a lot of people washed out or right. look a little pale or tired. Sure. Okay. What a nice, inexpensive investment to it is. experiment, because I think sometimes we get caught or stuck in our mode of same, same, same. Correct. So experimental by looking at that. Absolutely. And great. so this is great for your layering pieces, and this is great yeah. for all the chunky jewelry that's yeah. in right now that you can find mm -hmm. at really Scarves affordable so places. Fun. Scarves. Mm -hmm. Absolutely. So you might as well mix and match rather than putting on the black shirt with the purple scarf. Why don't you put on your yellow shirt with your purple scarf? Mm -hmm. Wow. And see, I, I never even thought about... see that hanging about... somewhere next time we come to your <laughs> Right. Class. Right. Okay. okay. We'll pin it up on the door here. Now, um... As far as how I had my stuff in here, was was there anything you noticed that was like maybe something I should adapt <laughs> to another choice? Yeah, one of the first things I noticed <laughs> actually is, is the wire hanger. <laughs> and the main reason that generally wire hangers are not what you want to use is because you're going to get the pull in the shoulders, you're going to, um, you're, you're going to age your fabrics faster than yeah. what they would be if they were on a different hanger. <laughs> but what's easy, these are just the simple plain hangers you can get, you know, 10 for just a couple of dollars, and they really take away the, the folding. So as the opposed fabrics. to some of the, like, wardrobe-related shows I've seen where they say you have to get those, like, wooden, beautiful, expensive ones, these are okay? <laughs> these are better than wire. 